hey guys welcome back to the channel and in today's tutorial i will be talking about some surface tool inside katia v5 now if you are a regular user of katia v5 you should know some of the surface tools uh, which are pretty basic but you should be knowing it in case if you are uh, working on katia v5 so for uh, this tutorial, I'll be designing this simple water tank and uh, we'll be using all the surface tools to model this from scratch and then once the surface tool is done, we'll be doing some thick surface and convert this whole part to a solid body. Okay, so for now, I'll be closing it and let's start with a wireframe and surface design you can call it tank or water tank whatever you want All right so first let's define our body which is basically a cylinder so i'm gonna give it uh, origin so we'll keep the whole thing as zero 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 we'll create a point and then we'll give a direction as z component if you find that if there is too much lighting you can come to view lighting and give some minimum lighting so that it's more visible i'll keep the radius 400 and i'll make the length 800 while the length 2 as 0 it's it's a basic shape right let's switch the view to shading with edges all right after that let's do some basic sketches so for the curve do that let's select y z plane go to sketch i'm gonna use this edge for uh this edge for uh for as a reference element so just select it and then project it okay and we'll convert it to construction element let's go for a three point arc and from this endpoint this endpoint we'll draw off Like this if you see that this should not be construction so just select it and undo the construction and after that we can give it some dimension so let's give it a radii of 700 and uh, if in case this point is perfect the only thing is this point should be coincidence so let's select them and make it coincidence right from here we can exit this sketch and we will also need a line so let's do one line definition from here i'll choose point direction for the point i will select um, so I need this point okay so before that let's edit our sketch one and I need this point as the reference so I'll make it uh, undo um, select it and make sure it not so it's not a construction element so that we can select it for them okay now let's define the line uh, point direction select the point oops select the point very carefully and uh, for the direction i will use y component and uh, we'll give this 696 and keep it zero all right so it's coming kind of curve which i don't want so support i will change to swipe plane and let's see yeah 
so i don't want it to be a curve so make sure your support is a swipe lane and now you can see this line uh, is basically shifted to our xy plane which we don't want so i'll just clear selection and make sure it's our default otherwise if you select the xy plane it will go on to that plane itself which in case i don't want now we'll utilize the revolve command so let's go for revolve select our profile as sketch one and evolution axis as this go for 360 angle and done okay now we don't need uh, obviously the whole thing so we'll trim some of the part let's go for a trim operation I'll select my cylinder and my revolute now here be careful to remove the other side now you can see this is going to be removed which i don't want and obviously so what i want to do is i want to remove this one so for the second element just use other side or previous element whatever works better for you now we have a structure of our uh, tank let's quickly join these two so I'll trim and yeah obviously once once we select trim it will be a single element so the whole thing will be combined and now let's use the fill command fill and select this bottom okay i'll do one more join and this time i will join one and fill one this will make both the surface uh, into one and then let's go for some fillet so for the fillet you can go to insert operation okay so to access the fillet you have to go to start shape and generative shape design here you will get the option to add uh, inside operation you will have shape shape fillet or edge fillet whatever you want i'll select edge fillet and i'll select this bottom and make this radius 10 i'll preview it and once i'm happy i'll click that looks nice all right now after that we need a plane definition to uh, clear to uh, design the top of the tank so let's define a plane and i'll select offset from plane and xy plane and distance offset distance will be 920 okay and now let's select the plane that we just created and do some basic sketch select the plane go for a sketch select a center rectangle and from the origin the rectangle give it some basic dimension so this could be 300 now obviously the dimensions are pretty much uh, uh, abstract so you can take your own dimension if you want to improvise the design okay now I will exit the sketch and use this new sketch and go for uh, extrude uh, extrude up to I will select the type as to element and uh, in this case I will select the body or the outer body of the tank and then press ok so we have a nice uh, opening kind of thing and after that we need to trim some of the entities uh, using the sketch that we just created right 
Now if you feel like these uh, lines are creating a hindrance, you can always make them hide, hide and let's hide the plane also. You can also hide the sketch we just created. Alright, so let's keep the trim. So select the trim and uh, I will select my edge fillet and the extrude we just created and what we want from here is we need to see what kind of surface we are removing so I don't want that uh, I want to create an opening so I think let's see yeah that's looking good do we have an opening yeah in while using trim always make sure what what element you are trimming so you have to make sure that uh, the right element is getting trimmed otherwise always use the other element or previous element inside the trim operation you see other side next element other side previous element this is very important tool okay now we can do another fill so we just need to join these four edges one two three four okay perfect after that we need one more sketch and to do that I will select plane one again and go to sketch this time I'm gonna do a circle from the origin give it a dimension of 250 diameter and then exit the sketch all right now here what we can do is we can use another extrude operation let's extrude it to a dimension of just 10 mm preview okay that looks nice and then we can do another trim so let's go for trim again and this time i'm going to select fill one and the extrude we just did so we want to create opening for the tank and it's doing it very perfectly now as you can see my extrude is also gone which i don't want so i will do previous element and that looks fine I don't want to uh, trim my extrude which is a 10 centimeter extruded circle which is right over here I just wanted to create the opening after that what we can do is we can do a few more sketches for the top of the tank and to define this I will select this face and go to sketch okay here I'm going to first of all project this outer one and convert it to construction element also going to utilize some this edge and this edge so I'll just project it okay and then make sure it's a construction element and now I can pretty much do my sketch so let's define our axis from here up to this end and I want another center line which is like this 
and let's define these two angle this is 45 and now I can use two lines which start from here to here and obviously this should not be a construction so make sure you uncheck that and I'll just use it and mirror it with respect to this one and then define the distance between these two and let's say 100 I will select my auto circle and make sure it's not a construction element so I so that I can utilize this part and now I can pretty much trim this thing and this thing so now I have what I wanted all right so from here we can pretty much exit the sketch and go for uh, extrude let's go for extrude uh, let's go for up to element select this one and press ok this is what we wanted now we can simply utilize our circular pattern to pattern this whole thing all right and to do that let's go to insert go to advanced duplication and circular pattern go for a complete crown in actual reference make the instances as four and select the axis as z to select the axis just and select this box and right click go for z axis object to pattern my extrude 3 and that's my circular pattern after that i need to trim some of the unwanted stuff and before that i'll just hide this one and hide this sketch also right let's start with the trim and i will select trim 3 as well as the circular pattern okay hmm. we're getting some error Hmm. Okay. So What we can do here is mm -hmm. okay, we need to cut this thing. All right, oh, to do that, let's go for other side. So it's showing me here, let's cancel it. So I want to delete these these surfaces. And to do that, go to trim, select our into and select through three let's go for other side other side mm -hmm. this looks nice so i wanted to create an opening like this which is which looks good to me now i can repeat this operation once more let's go for trim 
and select this tool um, other side okay so just like that we have created opening you can see right now we, we need to create this because uh, you know why I created uh, this opening we will get to know uh, very quickly and after that I will do one more sketch over here and to do that select this face go to a sketch you can always use normal view to turn it around and then we can pretty much uh, define a circle from the origin and make sure this is touching this point so I'll just select circle and make it coincidence okay now I'm going to utilize this circle and create a split so select the circle go for a split and select your trim operation I'll get a warning but that's fine okay so basically I did the opposite and go to split again select your element to cut as trim 3 and the cutting element is my circle okay okay we have done the opposite side just undo that make sure you are cutting the right side so I'll go for other side okay right now it looks more clean this is what I actually wanted and that's where I utilize the circle operation uh, including the split operation now simply we can utilize our fill command to fill all these gaps and to do that let's go for fill two three and four we need to repeat this three more times hope you can follow along with me make sure you're selecting only the edges and not the face okay. let's do one more fill over here with only edges see I used uh, some split and I don't want that select remove then select only. I can always select and remove remove and now start fresh Once you get the blue close control, that means your fill operation is on point. Last fill operation for this opening. And just like that, we have uh, closed all the openings. And after that, the common operation that we do inside surface is join everything together so let's go for a join trim 5 split 1 fill 3 fill 4 5 and 6 everything is selected let's press ok this whole surface is a single thing that's why we often use join operation all right now let's do some basic uh, outer aesthetics of the tank and to do that let's go for a yz plane sketch and i will select a circle somewhere here draw a circle and we will define its 
center point from this edge and this could be around let's say 50 while its distance from this axis I select 400 maybe and then I will finally give the dimension which could be 12 now now you know why I uh, started dimensioning the circle with the uh, edges and the uh, axis rather than giving it a uh, dimension at first because if you do the dimension first you'll have to zoom in and then uh, do the dimension again so make sure you are defining it with respect to the edges first and then giving it a dimension that's a quick tip kind of thing let's utilize it and create a surface let's go for revolved Select the axis as Z. Go for 360 degree. That's what we want. It's a very minimal thing, but you can pretty much see. You know, if you see inside also, it's there. Right. After that, simple operation. Go to insert. Advanced operation. Advanced replication tools and rect rectangular pattern. Go for instances and spacing, instances as 5 and spacing is 170. Go for Z axis. Now if you are wondering why I put these values, these are pretty much calculated values. So let's say you have a certain height and uh, you want to uh, give a particular spacing, you need to calculate this basic maths, right? I'm not going to go in detail and talk about all those stuff. As you can see, it's going opposite, so just reverse it. Okay, if you see inside, you can see it's there. Perfect. Now, I want to trim the inside part. You can also trim the if you, if you want to trim the outside, you can also do that. But I want to keep it outside but uh, trim it from the inside so let's go for a uh, trim and i will select my join 3 with the revolute and the rectangular pattern you can see it's deleting from inside in case if it not just play with the other side next element or other side previous element will press ok and you can see that from the inside it's kind of removed but from the outside it's still there it depends on what kind of uh, design you are doing if you want to remove it from outside you just have to use the same tool and follow the uh, other side previous element command okay once everything is done we can hide our sketch and go for a join command with a trim and press ok everything is stitched now and let's do some basic fillet so go to insert operation edge fillet and over here let's skip the support to join for let's say in the objects to fillet, I'll select this corner point. So one, two, only the edges. Make sure you are selecting only the edges. Very carefully, if you select any face by mistake, you will get error. So you have to make sure you are not mixing the faces and the edges. Okay. That looks nice. You can also do few more fillet. So let's go to insert again. Operation. Edge fillet. 
and I'll reduce the radius to 5 mm this time and select 1, 2, 3, 4. Looks good. Okay, now let's go for one more fillet and operation edge fillet. And over here, I'll select this one and it's going to give everything, but I don't want it, so I'll just remove it. And now I can select each of the edges. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I think I have selected all and just cross check it and yeah keep the radius as 5 mm I get some error but that's fine now it's fully uh, constructed or every radius every operation is done now the last operation that we will do is obviously the join operation so let's join and select the last fillet okay it's, everything is just a single surface now our surface operation is done let's switch our workbench to part design and over here i will select thick surface okay and select our this join 5 and uh, we can go for reverse direction and go for uh, 2mm preview we can reverse it okay some error is there don't worry about that always cancel and then go for a thick operation and go for 1 mm reverse direction okay Checked. okay there's um, the operation is done but it's showing some kind of error let's select our thick and activate it update it and offset because okay offset value is too much do the reverse okay deactivate the external surface okay so what basically is happening is we have specified a surface which is going which is basically too much for the offset distance and let's delete that delete the extracts also Okay, let's switch it to uh, shape and generative shape in case if you uh, face this kind of error go back to your generative shape and this time go for volume give it a thick surface select your whole thing 
Current offset value is a local generation. Okay, no. We cannot give the. Hmm. Let's check our join operation. Everything should be joined. Okay. Just undo that. Why is this happening? This happens sometimes. Don't worry about that. We can fix it. Let's go to close surface. We'll close it, which I don't want. Let's go to thick surface. Reverse it. Okay. Cancel it. No, no. Let's use the offset. I do 0 0.5. No. How much does it want? I have a question. To teach uh, automatic. Dependency continuity. Okay, let's change it back to one. Yeah. So in case if you are facing uh, error while doing thick surface, just have to go to more. Go for a smoothing mode from none to automatic and the software will calculate everything for you just hide the join five and we have a solid body yeah let's check the thickness i can update it and then one mm is fine and now what i want is i want to give a different thickness to this uh, top student or uh, only this circular part okay so this should be a bit more uh, thick and to do that let's utilize our thickness select this one go for 3 mm okay and just like that we can increase the thickness of any support and this concludes the design of the water tank i hope you guys like it and you must have gone through all the surface tools that we utilized for designing this one and, uh, yeah that's it you can apply material if you want to and uh, if you have any doubts with this one feel free to comment down below i will see you guys in the next tutorial very soon peace out